Again, I tried not to have any spoilers in here. I tried to attack it from a perspective where I'm talking about his physique, not really talking about the movie because that's not my thing, although I do think it was better than The Dark Knight. Yo, now I'm not a movie critic, but I saw The Batman yesterday, and while I think it was a great movie, that doesn't matter because I'm not a movie critic. But what I do is I do fitness things, and I, you know, this, this sort of thing, and I've got a company that has individuals who come in, they want to work out, they want to look to be the best version of themselves. So when I'm watching a movie like The Batman, I'm thinking, how does Robert Pattinson look? How is he portraying himself? What is going to do to the audience who are looking at him and saying, hey, he looks good, bad, whatever. I'm going to give my opinion on that. What does Robert Pattinson look like? Does he look good, bad, whatever? And how do I think he got there? How is he in relation to maybe the other Batmans and the other superheroes out there? So look forward to that. Robert Pattinson was very vocal about him not wanting to work out for Batman. During the pandemic, there was a little bit of a shutdown and I mean a big a lot of bit of a shutdown and during that he spoke how people working out was an issue which was weird and he was you know in production for Batman he was trying to actually verbalize the fact that he didn't want to do the stereotypical superhero body transformation thing which when I hear it I think he doesn't want to take freaking steroids to look like Thor because Chris Hemsworth without a doubt, he used some sort of anabolics or PEDs to become Thor, which is cool. It doesn't matter. He's not being drug tested. He's playing a part. And to play the part, he wants to look away. And to look away, he actually did better. Back in the day, when Schwarzenegger was doing all of his movies, and he was freaking huge, he was clearly using, he was in those post-bodybuilding times. Sylvester Stallone in the Rocky movies, and Rambo especially, he was using things. I grew up watching those things, and now I'm doing this thing. I'm doing the fitness thing. I got freaking muscles. It's, you know, what happens to people who watch the movies that helps shape their lives. So when Pattinson was talking about the fact that he didn't want to do that, he was talking about how he wanted to shape lives. I grew up in the time where a lot of people my age were watching the Twilight movies. Robert Pattinson was a Twilight person. And he was Edward. He was the main dude. And then there was Jacob. I was always a bigger fan of Jacob because he had all the muscles. You know, Edward did grow on me, though. But you know why Edward grew on me? Because he was a little bit more personable. I rewatched the entire series as a 28, 29 year old. And when I watched it, I was like, you know, Jacob, he doesn't really have much going for him. I mean, yeah, he's fucking jacked. But when you look at Robert Pattinson, you're like, you know, he's, he's in good shape. He's thin. He looks like he takes care of himself. But what he did was he was very personable. He had some charisma about it. And it's almost like he took that from Twilight and put it into Batman. He's a damn good actor because when he was doing the Batman thing, he wasn't trying to, you know, be bigger than everybody like a Thor would be. And not that Chris Hemsworth isn't a good actor, but, he, you know, he was an imposing figure. You look at him, the first thing you think is look at those biceps. When you look at Pattinson, the first thing you think isn't look at those biceps. Maybe you think, you know, he's damn good looking. And then the second thing you think is, wow, kind of afraid of him. But why am I afraid of him? I'm afraid of him because of the way that he is just portraying himself as Batman. It's like he's standing there and you just feel like a presence. You're like, oh God, I gotta get away from this freaking guy. That's anything to do with his physique, but it is just to do with his presence and his portrayal and his acting and his charisma. And unlike in Jacob and Twilight, where you look at him and that's all he's got going for him, He's got a lot more going for him. Now, how does he look? He looks pretty good. He didn't use steroids. You can tell. I can tell at least. I don't know if you can tell. Maybe some people will say that he was, but those people don't know what they're talking about. Robert Pattinson is a natural guy. He's 35 and that's way beyond expectable for somebody who's that age, who's going to be in a movie seen by millions of people. And he's a superstar. It's all he's got to do. He's got to look the part. With what I do, I know plenty of 35-year-olds who look way better than Robert Pattinson does. You know, that's just kind of their thing. They, are, they take a lot of care, for, care of themselves. They like working out. Robert Pattinson has spoken about how he does not like working out. He doesn't want to do it. He spoke about how the diet killed him. I can speak a little bit about his diet model. He said that he couldn't look at a piece of fish ever again after he was getting in shape for his shirtless scenes, which, you know, they do in a bunch. So when they do the shirtless scenes, they're like, all right, here's what we got to do, get in shape for it. So he's getting in shape for it. He does the shirtless scenes all in a bunch. They can be spread throughout the movie. That doesn't matter. They can clip it. And then he gets out of shape, quote unquote, again, because he doesn't have to have his shirt off anymore. He said that for this part, he was, you know, water depleting. And all he would do is eat fish up until that point. All he would do is he would cut out all the, you know, seasonings and salts and fats. And he was just eating basically white fish that was boiled and 
little bits of rice. He was also tracking his water down to the littlest bit of water. What I hear here is that he should have done a little bit more working out so that if he is at 12 to 13% body fat, which it looks like he is, he could have brought that down to 10 and then he could have enjoyed some seasonings. He could have eaten a little bit better and he could have drank some water. What he did was a water depletion. He did it to look a certain way on the screen. Bodybuilders do it and it's super dangerous to actually do it that way. I believe it would actually be safer for him to take some steroids and to do the water depletion and all the unhealthy sort of bodybuilding prep show stuff. That's what kills the bodybuilders, the diuretics and the water fluctuations in your body. Does it work? It worked for, uh, what's his name? Henry Cavill in The Witcher. So he did that scene where he's sitting in the bathtub like this in The Witcher and his arms are all jacked. He said that he did a water depletion for that. Now he has a little bit more muscle, so he looks a little bit more bulky and jacked when he's sitting in that bathtub than Pattinson does. Now Pattinson did have like a scene where his traps are popping out and some people are looking and go, wow, he's got a lot of muscle. But coming from my world, he doesn't have that much muscle. And that's okay because he was doing the things for the younger generation so that people don't grow up like me thinking that muscle's the coolest thing ever. I like heavy muscle. I like to look a certain way. And I can thank my former idols, maybe current idols, the Schwarzeneggers and uh, Stallones of the world and their roles. But I remember back in the day, you would see all the things on the internet about how Edward Cohen had this entire wheat generation of males grow up and they're no longer lifting weights and they're not manly anymore. Fucking stupid, dude. It's fucking stupid. Like the manliness isn't about having muscle. It's about interacting with people, letting people like you, having a little bit of charisma and being confident in yourself, right? If anything, the Batman, what I learned was, I think it's super cool that he wasn't stupid jacked and he didn't put all this time into being stupid jacked. And you're probably gonna see the things on the internet talking about how Robert Pattinson had gotten killer shape to be the Batman. And it's like, well, he didn't. You didn't do any of your homework. I did some homework and I learned that he didn't do really much to get in shape. Other than maybe a little bit of a diet change and a water depletion, which I don't think was very smart. He should have done a little bit more working out, but if that's the message he wants to send, I'm all for the message that he was trying to send. It's odd because I do push health, wellness, and fitness, but in the health, wellness, and fitness spectrum, I think that people should be, you know, really steering clear from trying to look like Chris Hemsworth and idolizing Chris Hemsworth and idolizing The Rock. I made a video about The Rock and how he's not natural and how there's going to be an entire generation of males who are growing up trying to look like The Rock and at some point or another, they're going to realize that it isn't possible. And then they're going to be presented with the option to use some PEDs. And they're maybe going to go that route, which the education isn't out there for that stuff. You've got to really dive deep for the education on performance enhancing drugs and anabolics. And a lot of people don't do that stuff. I like to do that stuff. I like to learn everything there is about everything that I am interested in. Some people are just like, that's how The Rock did it. I'm going to fucking do it too. Robert Pattinson probably has a little bit of education on that. He looks at himself and says, hey, I want to live to be 80, 90 years old. He doesn't want to go down that route. He doesn't think that it's important. He doesn't want to spread that message. So when you go watch the Batman, again, I tried not to have any spoilers in here. I tried to attack it from a perspective where I'm talking about his physique. Not really talking about the movie because that's not my thing. Although I do think it was better than The Dark Knight. What do you think? The soundtrack was great. And that is just my overview of how I look at Robert Pattinson's body which as a guy, I think every, all, every one of us can speak for the fact that we look at guys and go, all right, that's what you're working with. Thanks a lot, Schwarzenegger. Andrew Hiller, bye. <laughs> <laughs>